you're a business owner in 2020, this has been the year that's been the toughest in my business career. You've probably got employees like me and you've had loads of your turnover taken away because of coronavirus. Picture the scene, I decided that I would start a brand new business to motivate business owners that anything can be done during a pandemic, that actually the same amount of money exists in the world. And I was turning it into a documentary, which I'm still gonna bring out at seven o'clock on Boxing Day. But this then happened. The government came into the business and closed me down. I made a video about it on Monday. I think it's unfair. I think it's unreasonable that my competition are still allowed to open as the government falls through legislation without actually thinking about it because they haven't put the time into it. Small business owners and small business enterprises are feeling the brunt of that stupid decision making. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you all about it. If you're a business owner um, or you work for a business and you're passionate about growing that business, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell and comment below as we go because I wanna know your views because this is a conversation and I am so passionate about business owners being the people that are gonna pull us through this economic disaster that we find ourselves currently in. It's gonna be our tax take that's gonna pay back these billions and billions, nearly a trillion pounds that has been spent, invested in keeping our economy going during coronavirus. Look, look, let me tell you about the bittersweet story that's happened to me last week. Last week, our brand new farm shop and Christmas shop. Basically, we got a farm shop and we put two big tops on the back. I'll put some images over me talking right now so you can picture the scene if you don't know about it. I did this as an insurance policy because my main businesses are leisure and hospitality uh, visitor attractions. And I knew that if we had a second lockdown, I think we all guessed that there would be a second lockdown and they would be closed down but because it's retail and because we're selling food and blah, 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 we would be able to keep them open and keep a trickle of turnover coming in. Well, last week was our best ever week in that brand new business that we started this year. We took 24,000 pounds worth of sales and that was fantastic. That keeps more staff employed. It keeps the lights switched on, pays for all the animals that we've got at our farm and the, the idea was working. More and more people were coming. We were getting rave reviews. Our marketing was working. We've got a radio campaign. We'd put bikes around the town dressed up to re remind people that we've got a farm shop open. We've done emails, we've done print marketing campaigns. And I thought, this is fantastic. Sainsbury's, Tesco's, they're all allowed to sell everything that we're selling. Garden centers are allowed to trade. But we were told by Chumps Council that they saw that our Christmas shop could be closed off and they sent me this letter here. Well, actually, first of all, they turned up on a Saturday and sent me a verbal notice. They call this uh, an intervention report, said, please, can you close off the more um, the non essential areas. This includes the Christmas shop and the village area in the red marquee and the white and red one. Uh, you can continue with click and collect uh, and swap over the correct essential items, blah, blah, blah. So they came in on Saturday. Then on Monday, they then give me a written notice. Uh, so, and this was an actual prohibition notice that I was sent to me. Um, to please take note of the notice that has been given to you. And they said, if you continue to trade that business, we will fine you a thousand pounds on day one and that will double up to 10,000 pounds. I mean, it's his, it's his proper stuff, guy, the way, guys. So I closed the thing. Can you imagine my frustration? I've invested literally hundreds of thousands of pounds. Two big tops I bought. Market stalls, shop fittings, and tens and tens of thousands of pounds worth of stock. And then they tell me, oh, just go and do click and collect. Yeah, like I'm Jeff Bezos, then I can just turn around and build an Amazon overnight. Well, we actually did go and build a website, and we put a lot of effort into building that website. But you see, you know, we were getting like, we're getting like four or five orders a day where we're getting two, three, four hundred customers a day come into the shop because we are experience-based businesses. So we're not digitally businesses. We use digital to get people to come and visit our stores, very similar to the Primark model, although um, we don't see ourselves as Primark. But later, so it's a bittersweet story. Best ever trading months, closed down, and this is all part of our documentary we're bringing out at seven o'clock on Boxing Day. The usual person I am, I go nuclear on it. I called the Sun newspaper. I called uh, the BBC. I'm in being interviewed about it on the BBC yesterday, but I also got MPs involved. And these are my solutions. When you think things are unfair and unjustifiable in your business, make sure you go and do something about it. And here's what uh, a minister, I've got an email back from a minister um, saying, Dear James, I watched your video, which is very 
very powerful. You can watch the video, by the way, guys, by clicking here. If you haven't seen it, click and watch the video now. I completely understand your frustration, and he admits to me, particularly given that so many of your competitors are open. How is it fair that B&M, Home Bargains, Pound Stretcher, all of these people with hundreds of millions of pounds worth of turnover can continue to trade, but the small business gets a, a whacker plate in their face? Given that so many of your competitions, uh, competitors are open, I don't believe, believe that the current restrictions are necessary. I think the current restrictions are necessary. Coronavirus is very serious. But what I think, they should be closing everything down and creating a level playing field, not having one rule for one and another rule for another. How is it fair that some are allowed to trade because of the way they've been listed and others are not? I mean, come on, everyone going to a garden centre. But let me just tell you now, I support garden centres, but garden centres are having it off and they ain't selling plants at the moment. They're selling Christmas stuff. Um, the same stuff I am. I do really believe the current restrictions are necessary, but I very much hope, very much much hope that um, it will be possible for you to trade following the review at the beginning of December. As a minister, I of course support government policy, but I can assure you, James, that I'm making sure that my colleagues are fully aware of the very valid points you make. It is not fair for some to really benefit from this and others because of shoddy legislation. So here's my solution. Get the media involved. Make your website better than ever, guys. I've been saying this on my YouTube channel. You really have to make sure that you have a brilliant web presence because this could be around for the other year. Yes, there's good news of vaccines coming along. There's good news that the, the, the R rate is now starting to fall again, but we can't just keep going on about this. You know, the, I think the truth is as well, guys, this has taken my mojo away a bit from me. And I'm a very, very positive person. I just had enough. I just think, oh, why are you doing this to me? Serving prohibition notices on me. I don't feel like I could go anywhere for support. Like MPs are just playing lip service to me. You know, for a couple of days, I'm just like down in the dumps. And I think this is the biggest skill of a, a great entrepreneur. You've got to have hunger for what you want to do. And I've got hunger for success and building a great business and having a great team. And you've got to have courage. The people around me have given me the courage to keep on going. My fantastic team that are giving me the courage. It's like when I give them a courage when they're down about certain things that go on in the business. I think this is my biggest message to you as a business owner. Make sure you build that team around you. Make sure even if you haven't got team members right now that you have the desire to build a fantastic team around you because when you're down and you get the knocks, it's that team that are going to give you that courage to keep on going. You've got to have hunger, you've got to have discipline, and you're going to have courage. I want to say thank you to my team that are watching this right now because you do give me the courage to carry on. Like I'm making these videos, hopefully, to give you the courage to carry on because if you don't quit, you'll never lose. And this is a tough year, guys, a real tough year. We're still releasing this documentary at seven o'clock on Boxing Day where we attempt to build a million pound business from scratch. We would have done it, but I think this might now make it a bit more difficult, but we're filming it alongside making our regular videos. Thanks very much for supporting us. Please subscribe to this channel so you're notified when we bring out great new videos by clicking here. And if you haven't seen my video that I made on Monday about this disaster that happened to us with all of the details, then click here. I'll see you real soon. Bye -bye.